special effects are just a tool, a means of telling a story. People have a tendency to confuse them as an end to themselves. Uh, a special effect without a story is a pretty boring thing. Effects in the story service. The duel in The Empire Strikes Back. You are beaten. It is useless to resist. Don't let yourself be destroyed as Obi-Wan did. There is no escape. Don't make me destroy you. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. No! As that evolved, and say I did the first film, I didn't know that uh, how the public would take all this, and that it would be as successful as it was, and Darth Vader would become the character that he became, and and uh, so when I got down to uh, the second film, I had to make a decision about whether I was really going to go through with this thing of him being his father and uh, finally decided that that really was the way I mean, it was the original story and that was the one I really liked the most and so I'd stick with it in Jedi father and son faced one another for the last time uh, in the end I had a problem with in the fight between between Luke and his father of why he makes the final turn. Luke makes the final turn to the bad side of the Force and tries to kill his father. Use your aggressive feelings, boy. Let the heat flow through you. <laughs> Obi-Wan has taught you well. This was the moment toward which the entire saga had always aimed. I will not fight you, father. But ironically, a vital, immediate motivation was still missing when we came to shoot it. Richard was trying to block out the fight between uh, Luke and, and Vader, and we got down to that point underneath the, underneath the throne room there, and he said, you know, the script sort of said, and Vader uh, says something that upsets Luke, or something vague like that. Uh, I, I, I can't remember exactly what the script said, but it was very vague. Uh, spark, and we didn't have that actual moment that we needed where Luke, at, you, you got the sense that Luke is hiding, he's not going to fight him, he refuses to fight, he'd rather die first, and then so something turns him around and makes him fight. Uh, and I had never really come up with a satisfactory answer to that, of what he could possibly say that would set Luke off, and then it just, I say, in the process of evolving the script and, and evolving the importance of, of Leah as the sister, uh, you know, it was, it was sitting right there in front of my face and it became obvious that uh, turning her to the dark side would be the thing that would set Luke off again. If you will not turn to the dark side, then perhaps she will. <laughs>
your powerful. Now, fulfill your destiny and take your father's place at my side. We're reminded of the Empire Duel. The symbols are the same, but now their meanings are reversed. Never turn to the dark side. You failed, Your Highness. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. The drama is archetypal. Its roots go deep into the mythic past we all share. If you will not be turned, you will be destroyed. <laughs> Now, at last, son will cry out to father, and in the response to that cry, a saga would reach its climactic heights. Now, young Skywalker, you will die. Darth Vader has been this become been thrust into this huge persona that I never expected to have happen. Uh, do I still take the mask off and have him be this funny little man? Well, again, my I sort of came to the decision of that was the original story. That's the way it should be. And if the public can't deal with it, then what can I do about it? A lot of people have objected to the fact that there's a human in there at all. But the film is about human frailties, it's not about monsters. Luke, help me take this mask off. But you'll die. Nothing can stop that now. Just for once, let me look on you with my own eyes. I think what happens in a project when you're with it and with the characters is, which is what happened to me in the first one, sort of led me along this course, is you fall in love with the characters and you fall in love with the environment. It's like a home. You feel very comfortable making up things that happen in there. It becomes your own little fantasy land, I think. And the reality is, is I love that world. I mean, there are friends there. It's like a home, I have a home there. And uh, so there's always going to be a desire on my part to uh, go home again or to be with my friends again.
attractive as the Star Wars world is, uh, sooner or later you have to leave home and go on to some other place. Language establishes character. Composer John Williams takes a short course in Ewok ease from Ben 